Today is August 4th, 2019, and I got a message from my future brother-in-law saying what size ring does Brianne wear. Immediately, I was so happy. I think Brie has more of a wedding fever than anyone I know. Go check her Pinterest if you don't believe me. In my eyes, Brie and Alex are the Nathan and Haley of real life. Growing up, I was always sad about my sisters one day getting married and moving out because it feels like you're losing someone. But in all reality, you're just gaining new siblings. It is, August, it is now October 9th, 2020, and tomorrow is the day. After the year it's been, I'm so grateful to stand here and get to talk about Alex and Bree in front of the people who love them as much as I do. While I am sad Bree will no longer be at my house to annoy and to steal her clothes, Brian, thank you for being my best friend, and Alex, thank you for becoming my brother. It has always anchored down. Just as two threads woven in opposite directions form a beautiful tapestry, so will two lives, when they are merged together, they will fashion a beautiful marriage. Who gives this woman to be united to this man? I stand here today to vow my love to you forever. You're my best friend, my shoulder to cry on, my biggest cheerleader and my confidant. I vow to stop, never stop learning about you and learning with you to take your interests, your wants, and your needs into consideration. I vow to take your goals and your dreams, treat them as my own, to push you, to reach them, and to stand by you when you do. I vow to stand by your side on the good days and on the bad. I vow to never stop telling you cheesy jokes <laughs> during those bad days. And when the jokes don't work, I know my laughing will. <laughs> I vow to never take a day with you for granted, whether that day is celebrating good times or learning from the bad. I will be so thankful that I get to go through it with my best friend. I vow to always hold you to a pinky promise. I vow to always push you to be the best person of yourself. I will lift you up in times of trial, celebrate you, celebrate with you in times of triumph. I vow to pray not only for you, but to always pray with you. I vow to take on this walk of faith together. I vow to never stop growing with you in our faith, in our relationship, and personally as your wife. 
I cannot promise you that I will be perfect, but I vow to you that I will always give you my best, and I will always strive to be what's best for you. I love you, Alex. I love you more with every passing day. It's my promise to you. Brian, through our journey together these last two and a half years, you've seen me out at my worst and still love me. You've seen me at my best and love me the same. I was drawn to your beauty and personality, but your compassion for others is what also stood out for me early on. The way you care about people and are always willing to help doesn't go unnoticed. And this is shown to me on a daily basis. You've always been there for me when I'm feeling down on myself and always seem to have the right words to say to comfort me. Now my vows to you. I promise to be there to encourage you and to motivate you to achieve the great things in life that I know that you're capable of. I promise to put your thoughts and desires before mine and to always work towards being more understanding of your point of view. I promise to always pray with you and show God's love in good times and bad. I promise to always listen after you've had a long day at work, even in the moments when you get excited and talk faster than I can comprehend. <laughs> And also promise to let you take your daily naps whenever you need one. <laughs> I promise to encourage you in tough times, to always be the shoulder to cry on in sad times, and to laugh with you in happy times. I promise to love you unconditionally, to honor and cherish you for the rest of our lives, forever and always. On this day, in as much as you have both cons consented together, in the union of holy matrimony, in the presence of God, your family, and your friends. And you have pledged your commitment one to the other. By the authority vested in me by the state of Tennessee, and as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Alex, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Alex Burgett. <laughs> This is the good life. Whoa. 